Hi, welcome back to another week in the life vlog. Uh, it's Monday morning around uh, 7.30 in the morning and I just finished another C to 5K run. I haven't done this um, in almost a month since I hurt my ankle and then was traveling and then got lazy. So I just did it again and it was hard and it's hot. Um, I should probably wake up earlier in the morning to do this, but I have neighbors watching me filming while chatting. So. Um, I'm gonna go inside and shower and get ready for work and all of that kind of stuff But I know I don't really bring you outside during vlogs. So um, We're gonna do a week in the life. See how it goes. See if I remember to film, but uh, Like I said Monday morning Couch to 5k. I my alarm went off and I was like, no, I don't want to do it But um, I was like, you know, what? as soon as I start I'll be energized and motivated It's just like hot and muggy. So it's kind of it's kind of tough, but I'm gonna push through. Hi again, still Monday, I'm on my lunch break. It is hot today, like 95 hot. I really am hoping to be able to continue exercising each morning, but like I was looking at the weather and I think it's gonna be hot by the time I would like wake up early tomorrow to do this. So I don't know how it's gonna go. And of course I don't wanna overheat or anything. So anyway, um, I've been working and like I said, I'm on my lunch break. I had some pasta salad for lunch. I'll show you that uh, maybe another day this week during the vlog. I make like a big batch of it. I think I've shown it before, but I make a really big batch of it and kind of just pick at it all week. I have some ice water. This is uh, one of the cups that I got in Panama City. So Heather wrote my name on it and the other side says Clam with the Least, Panama City Beach 2021. Um, but this is a brewmate and so it keeps it really, really cold. My air conditioner in my living room is like around the corner from my apartment. So, um, or not, not from my apartment. It's around the corner from my office in terms of the layout of my apartment. So I took a big oscillating fan. Is that the right word? I feel like that's the right word. And I have that by me, but I turned it off during the zoom call because my air was just like blowing. My boss is like, what are you doing? <laughs> um, so it's keeping me cool and I pulled all the shades down so my apartment's a little bit darker than usual, but um, anything to keep those energy bills down. Also during the day, I have my bedroom door closed, my bathroom door closed and all of that so that the air conditioner only, is only concentrating on this area. And then before I go to bed, I'll turn this one off and turn the air conditioner on that's in my bedroom. They're not wall, they're not window units, they're wall units, but it's not central air. It's hard to find an apartment in New Jersey with central air. These apartments are all pretty, unless it's like a brand new building and then it's really, really expensive. These apartments are pretty old. Um, but I do think that it's not as hot as it could be. So this is only maybe the third day that I've put air conditioning on in my living room. I have had it on at night. Um, so I don't know. We'll kind of see how the summer goes. The really tricky part is going to be days that I'm filming a lot of videos because I really can't have the air on when I'm filming. However, this may be a test actually because it's on now. So I may play around in iMovie and see what kind of background noise editing I can do. If it's not loud during this video, then I may be able to actually film with it on come uh, video filming time. So I'm feeling pretty relaxed right now with my YouTube channel. Like I said, today is Monday, June 28th, and I'm currently scheduled through next Monday, July 5th. So I feel pretty good about not needing to film this week. Um, I probably still will just to continue that momentum and continue getting ahead. But like I've said in prior videos, it just really helps me so that like if any at any point this week plans come up, I don't have any plans at all. I have no idea what's going to be happening this week. But if something last minute comes up or I choose to make a plan, I won't feel like, well, wait, I have to figure out when I'm going to film. So that's why I really like to try to get ahead. Earlier in the year and late last year during quarantine, it wasn't as big of a deal, but because I'm spending time with my loved ones again, I want to be able to actually spend that time and make up for lost time. So um, for the rest of my lunch break, which ends uh, in about 20 minutes, I'm just going to take some photos. Since today's Monday, all of my spreads for last week are finished being filled out. So I want to take some time to take some after the pen photos because I show you all of my before the pen and sometimes after the pen here on YouTube. But on Instagram is really where all of my after the pen spreads go. And um, I like to be able to show them as long as there's not too much like personal information or something. And in that case, I'll usually like block it out with some sort of photo editor or I just won't post the photo. Not every single planner spread has to be posted after.
after the pen. So I am going to take some photos and um, just sort of hang out for a bit. Hello, it is Tuesday. I am back at my desk. This is probably where you're just gonna see me most of the time this week because it's a busy week. It's really busy work-wise. And I know I said yesterday that I was feeling relaxed with my YouTube channel, but then today I made a list of all the things that I wanna get done this week. Um, so there are plenty, but I have, I got some happy mail. I wanted to grab that. Let me go get that. Okay, I should have prepared better. So first up is the brand new Calva Plan sticker book, which is Realistic Florals by Calva Plan. This releases on Friday, July 9th, and there's corresponding washi. How many rolls? Probably 10. There are 10 rolls of corresponding washi. This sticker book is insane. Um, I'll have a flip through up, I think, Thursday, and then um, this goes on sale on Friday. So I have to film the flip through for that. And then also Wild University. So July's monthly major is Bess of Lights Planner Action. I'm a huge fan of Lights Planner Action. If you don't follow her on Instagram, you definitely should. Her inserts are such great quality. She makes the inserts, the blackout inserts that I've used and shared before, and um, also the Go Wild inserts that, I've, uh, that I'm using. I haven't shared them. I ordered new ones for 2022, so I'm waiting on those to come through. But she is the major teaching memory keeping. Is this not like the perfect time for a memory keeping major because of all the brand new Happy Planner memory keeping line? My order should be here this week. Hopefully, I'll be able to unbox it with you guys. But um, it came with... So this Happy Mail is a booklet insert that Bess made for memory keeping for Wild University. So all annual members will get this in the mail. And it also came with a Wild U sticker that I love. This is like, I don't know what material it is. Maybe vinyl. It's a, it's a high quality sticker. But I'm really excited for this memory keeping class. I don't know who the monthly minor is yet, but I should be able to um, find out before the end of this week in this video. So enrollment is open until July 10th. Again, annual members get this. It's $192 for the year or $22 for the month. You can upgrade if you're currently a monthly member, you can upgrade to the annual membership and then you will get um, this package. But I have links in the description of this video to sign up for a monthly or an annual membership. They are affiliate links, which don't cost you anything extra, but help me out. So I have to get those, um, these things filmed. So I'm, I'm on my, like I said, I'm on my lunch break. I am going to film the realistic florals flip through and the washi. I'm going to film my wellness planner for next week, which is the only video in terms of my plan with me's that's not done yet. Um, and I have a reel that I have to get filmed for a brand collaboration. So those are my three lunch break goals. Plus I want to eat. <laughs> I did go for a run this morning. It was really hot again. I think by the time I finished my run, it was like 82 degrees. And I felt that I did much worse than yesterday. But according to my stats, I did better. Um, tomorrow is definitely going to be a non-run day. It's just going to be way too hot. But it looks like it'll cool off later in the week. So I'll take a break tomorrow from it and then continue on Thursday. So um, I am going to take a look at my to-do list. Oh, and also on my, hopefully on my lunch break, if I have enough time, I need to make a graphic because Natasha of La Casa de Natasha and I are going live on Instagram on Thursday. Although by the time you see this, it would have already passed. So I wanna make a graphic to um, promote that. I really find it helpful. I mean, I love my dashboard planner, but just like a brain dump of all the things that I need to do for plan with Elise sometimes in a long list is just really, really helpful. So it does look like my happy planner orders will be here this week, which is awesome. And then in the rest of my day, in terms of my goals, I need to clean my bathroom. Um, I want to read for 30 minutes. I have to do some budgeting stuff. And I think maybe that's it. I don't know. It's not it. Like, it's not a lot. I mean, it is a lot. It doesn't sound like a lot. But <laughs> my momentum is good. My apartment's not too hot today. Um, my head is not bothering me. My head was really bothering me for most of yesterday afternoon into tonight. And I went to bed pretty early. So um, I will catch up with you later. 
hi, it has been a day. Sometimes I feel like I'm leading a double life. That sounds very dramatic, but like I have my work life and then I have my plan with Elise life and then I have like my actual life, but <laughs> between like work and planning. So let me backtrack. Planner, planning, planning wise, today was a great day. I hit 6,000 subscribers on YouTube, so thank you so much to everyone who subscribed to my channel. It means so much to me to be seeing my account grow. Um, I filmed a video today. It was the big that you saw yesterday. No, you're not going to see it until Sunday, next Sunday. Yeah, I'm pretty far ahead right now in my videos. Um, it's the big for my birthday week. And what else? So that was, and then I'm just kind of now doing some stuff. Work is over for the day. Work-wise, it was a really hard day. Some days work-wise are just really, really tough. And it was one of those days nothing seemed to be really working. Um, some of our systems were down. It was just a challenge. So eight hours of my day were really, really hard. <laughs> the other parts of my day have been celebratory. Uh, way too hot to run today. So um, I slept in a little bit and I read and my mom is now on her way over here because she is having some trouble with some technology stuff so she's going to bring her computer over we're gonna go through it hopefully it works um and she's picking up dinner so my favorite restaurant is like half a mile from me so she's picking up uh dinner for us and so it should be a good night i'm tired like i said it's been it's been a day. I don't know. It was just one of those things where nothing was working. Um, but planner, again, planner wise, planner related, I'm, uh, I'm really, really thankful for 6,000 subscribers. It, you know, it was my goal for the end of the quarter. So the middle of the year. So by today to get 6,000. And I think I woke up this morning and I was like 39 away and I posted an Instagram story and a couple of friends shared it. And, um, luckily, not luckily got to that number because it wouldn't be the end of the world if I didn't. It would just be, all right, I didn't reach that number. But I think that in social media planning or really just in life in general, it's good to set goals. And sometimes, especially with follower counts and subscriber counts, you don't know if you're going to get there. You just, you just don't know. There's only so much control you have over that. I know that 40% of my views on YouTube come from people who aren't subscribed. So if all of those people subscribed, I'd have a lot more. But again, it's not about, I don't want to say it's not about the numbers and then say that I'm really working towards a specific number, but I think for me, it's just a matter of reaching that next goal, right? I'm at 6,010 today, maybe, and now it's like, okay, what's going to be my next, you know, milestone to reach? Um, and so there's like that continuous, like propelling forward type of thing. So um, I'm wearing my t-shirt from Pineapple Willies, which I got in Florida. This is like the softest t-shirt ever, but I have a stain on it. It must be like a salad dressing stain because it didn't come out in the wash. And so Heather is going back to Panama City Beach um, in July, maybe. And I might have her pick me up another shirt. <laughs> maybe in a different color so that I don't have two blue ones, but I'd like one that's not stained. So I'm going to ask her to do that for me. And... What else? I'm just looking around, seeing if there's anything else to share. I don't know. One of my goals of my apartment was to keep it clean. And not just clean, like, I mean, there's some clutter around because I've got all my filming stuff and planning stuff all over the place, but I wanted it to be a place where my mom could call me and say, I'm here or I'm coming over and not be frantic about having to pick up and clean. I just heard someone, maybe she's here. I don't think she's here. She would have rung the doorbell. Um, and I feel good that six months in my apartment is that way. My aunt and uncle came over last week and it was okay. I was cut off because amongst the things that I did not do, I did not check my phone storage before I started filming this. So I had, um, 175 videos that I had to delete videos that are up on YouTube. So I deleted those. Anyway, my mom will be here soon. So I will check in with you tomorrow. Hi. Thursday. I came on a little road trip. I am in the Target parking lot because I saw something on Instagram today that I want to look for. I haven't been to Target in forever. 
I also have like cabin fever. I haven't left my apartment in days besides just running around my development. Um, I did another run this morning. It was good. It was better than the last couple of days and also a little bit cooler. It was very humid though. Hence my hair. I mean, I showered, but like this is humid hair. Someone's watching me film right now. Um, getting in the car next to me, of course. So, all right, I'll see you in Target. Okay, there were too many people in Target for me to film. So um, I did not get what I was originally looking for, but I still got other stuff, of course. So I got this pillow. It says, see good in all things. I think this will go maybe in my living room or my bedroom. And then they had some cute bullseye stuff. I got this, which at first I thought was a napkin holder, but it's a mail holder. But for me, it's gonna be a planner holder. It's metal, it was $3. It should be perfect to fit my classic size planner. And then I got this little set of daily tracker post-its. There's one that says my goals with the date and three, um, self-care, mind, body, soul, and eat well, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and a water tracker. You can't really see it. Of course, someone's next to me again. Why does this always happen? There we go, water tracker right there. Um, and then I got two t-shirts. I love the Thread Up, I think that's the brand, Universal Thread at Target. So um, I got like a light green one and a blue one. These are pretty much what I wear every day. So that's, that's my Target haul. So it's really humid and hot, but I'm gonna go back home and eat some lunch and then go back to work. It looks like my Happy Planner, my big delivery won't be here until Monday. So it's gonna be too late for this vlog, but um, I did get the ring discs in yesterday. So I don't remember if I showed them or not. I don't remember, but I will make sure I do. <laughs> so um, excited for a long weekend, a holiday weekend. Hello, it's Friday night. And there was a package at my door today. This is not my happy planner haul. This is something else. So I knew this was coming eventually. I did not know when it was coming. So I haven't even dug into this. You are getting my actual first impressions. So this is so cool. I got, um, I got a message when I was in Florida from Blue Sky Planners. There is a collaboration between the Home Edit and Blue Sky, the home edit, I don't know if you've watched on Netflix, it's one of my favorite shows that I've been on in the fall. So this is a collaboration between the home edit and Blue Sky Planners and oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Okay, let's see. So first step is, look at this pen, the home edit. So this is like this really pretty gold leaf pen. Let me first say, I believe that all of this is available at Target or on bluesky.com. I'm not sure. I'm going to um, find them all and link them for you in the description of this video if you are interested. Look at this pen. Okay. Then I feel like I need to take this all out of the box maybe and move it out of the way. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. I love the tissue paper. So let me get situated here. All right. I can sit down now and focus so I don't feel like I have to rush through this. All right, next up is the Home Edit Planner 2021 and 2022. I'm wondering if I should do a separate video about this. That might happen. Okay, we're just gonna, I'm just gonna show you. I don't know. I have to make a decision. <laughs> Um, all right, we're just going to do it now. Whatever. All right, weekly and monthly planning calendar. This is like a really nice cover. This is actually the same type of material as the JMB Living Planner. It's really like um, velvety. So it includes two bonus months, tab monthly calendars, week weekly calendars, yearly reference calendars, snap and bookmark, storage pocket stickers, and notes. Okay. So the home edit. Oh my goodness. With Joanna and Clea right on the front there. Oh, and look at this. Oh, look at this bookmark. And it snaps in. That's so cool. Okay, so clear bookmark that snaps in five inches and then one, two pages of stickers. And of course, they are rainbow because of the home edit. Here is a folder for you. This planner belongs to Meet the Home Edit Yearly Overview. 
embracing the low bar lifestyle, but first unpack everything. Get off my watch here. All right, life goals, the daily edit, upkeep is everything. And then you have your monthly. So I guess it starts the May monthly. Oh, and then June. Okay, so it's just a May monthly. Then June and then July. Okay, and here's what the weekly looks like. Things I must do, my day, by the hourly, and then everything else. And then your weekend is broken up into two boxes. And look at this. I love the colors. So school supplies are not just for kids. Channel the flannel for September. Which way to the candy? Happy holidays. Please leave by 7. Only 31 more days of listening to All I Want for Christmas on repeat. Yes. Happy New Year, hoping all your problems last as long as your New Year's resolutions. All you need is love and champagne and candy. Dark days are over. Indoorsy, no morezy, allergy season is here. Vacation mode is on. And you don't have to be a beauty blogger to love a good face mask. Agreed. And then extra credit. What's extra credit? If you've made it to this section, you deserve a star and a celebratory drink. So here's August. Oh, so like the rest of the year. Cool. Okay, so it's September operation. Get cozy movies to see, shows to watch, books to read, podcasts to listen to. October, refresh your fall wardrobe. November, holiday season begins. December, all is merry and bright. January, New Year's intentions, not resolutions. February, focus on finances. March, spring forward. April, spruce up for spring. Clear the clutter. May, make time for self-care. June, surviving and thriving in the great outdoors. And then some notes pages. So, super cute. If I can close it, there we go. I love this cover. I could just like pet this cover all day. <laughs> okay, up next is, look at this black. Oh my goodness. This is like a cloth, like a linen, <gasps> the home edit plan. This is so sleek. I'm like losing my mind over this. See my wires there. Okay, weekly and monthly planning calendar. And it's rainbow inside. So I'm guessing this is going to be the same setup. Okay, so it's a little bit of a different calendar. This is more of like a horizontal layout. My day and to do. And then things I must do, things I postponed but need to get done. <laughs> Bonus points if I get these done and just do next week. And these aren't tabbed, but like the borders are are colored. So like when it's all like this, you can see it and like this, but it's so sleek. And there's a bookmark in here too. It's so sleek and black and my style. Look how pretty this is. It's small. Um, let me find something to compare it to size wise. Smaller than a happy planner sticker book. Maybe it's mini happy planner size. I don't have a mini near me for size comparison, but um, it's a little bit bigger than my hand. Let's see. Ruler. It is, oh, it's eight inches long and five inches. So eight by five. That might be, that might be mini happy planner size. It's so pretty. Okay. Then we've got the big one. So Two bonus months, tab calendars. Okay, so, ooh, big bookmark that snaps in. What's the front page? Weekly and monthly planning calendar. We have folders. And then this probably is going to look just like the first one that I opened. No, it doesn't. This is horizontal. So this one is the same layout as this one. And this is big. I'm guessing this is big planner size. Oops. Let's see. Yep. This is eight and a half by 11. And again, you have all of the monthly calendars. What's really nice about this is, well, first of all, of course, the black. This is like a plastic black cover. Um, it sits perfectly open on your desk. So like just having this here and being able to write things down is really great. And even just like having a week open and being able to jot everything down is just really clean. I love this layout. Okay, so this one is black. And then a document holder. This is cool. It says the home edit for day designer right here. And got an elastic band. Oh, look at this. Ah, I feel like, woo, that's exciting. Okay, document holder. So one, let's see how many slots there are. One, 
Oh, wait. Okay. Hold on. I'm excited. Oh, we're going to get there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I figured there'd be 12 for um, each month of the year, but wait for it. Wait for it. Stickers or they might not, they might not be stickers. No, these have little folders, like little slots that you slide it into, but We've got the months of the year, bills, utilities, insurance, health, warranties, vehicles, tech, inspiration, menus, hobbies, travel, and gift ideas. Awesome. I love that. And this is so perfect because I never quite know where to put my loose sheets. So we've got the document holder, the home edit planner, the big black one, the small mini, and I guess this is like the midsize, and this gorgeous pen. So... Thank you so much today, designer, for reaching out and sending these to me. Um, I'm going to find them for you, and they will be linked in the description if you are interested in any of these. Um, all right, it's Friday night. I uh, Let me turn the camera around. Hi. Okay, I wasn't quite planning on showing myself tonight, but it was a crazy work day. It was a tough one. Uh, so after work, I went for a run, which I don't normally do after work. I usually do it before work. But on Fridays, my hours are shifted back an hour. So Fridays, I work 8 to 4. So I really didn't want to wake up so early before work this morning to run. So I did it um, after work. And when I say so early before work, I like to run maybe two hours before work and then just kind of get through the rest of my morning routine. Um, and so I would have woken up at 6 and it just wasn't going to happen. So I ended up running after work, which was great. And I've really just been sitting on my couch reading. It's, um, what time is it? It's 8 o'clock now at night. And I've just kind of been reading. And I knew that um, I heard the doorbell ring earlier, which is usually my mail. So I opened it and that package was there. So the other thing I wanted to share, but it's not near me, so I'll share it later, are the ring discs um, that came. I have one here, but I put it on my planner. So um, I'll share that maybe tomorrow. But I am going to kind of probably get ready for bed. And I'm not going to bed. I'm just going to read and hang out. Um, kind of come down from the week, but I'm supposed to be going down to the Jersey Shore tomorrow. So I'll show you like, I don't know what I pack for a night away in the summer, I guess. Um, but I'm really excited about these goodies. Hi. I am about to head down the shore. In Jersey, we call it the shore. We don't call it the beach. Uh, for 4th of July, I'm very grumpy because it's really cold and raining. It's like 64 degrees. Memorial Day weekend, it was the same thing. I think it was 54 degrees and raining. And now it's 4th of July weekend and the same thing. So um, I'm going to turn the camera around, show you what I'm packing. I don't really know what I'm doing this weekend. Just kind of going down and we'll see. So here's what I packed. Really just the basics, but if you can see a theme, a lot of red, white, and blue. So I have um, a sweatshirt, even though I'm wearing a sweatshirt. I just, this is totally overpacking, but I grabbed a couple pairs of shorts and jeans, a bathing suit. I don't know why I have a bathing suit. It's cold out. A white t-shirt, a blue t-shirt, the one that I got um, this weekend or this earlier this week at Target, a red t-shirt, so I can decide, um, like I said, a bathing suit and then just some comfy clothes. Also grabbed my Anchor. This is my favorite um, portable battery charger and then a wire to go with it. Um, we use this in Florida like nonstop. I think I talked about it in my vlog in Florida, but it charges my phone like three full times and it's great. It's not that big. Um, so that is what I packed. I also brought like a cute night shirt going out shirt it's like this black shirt with eyelet sleeves it's like there's something on the sleeve um i think i got this from francesca's and just in case I end up going out so i'll throw it with some jeans and a pair of flip-flops and just kind of casual um i don't know casual beach ish weather weather not weather clothes whatever anyway this is what i'm packing Hi, I am back from the shore with a quick turnaround because I'm getting ready to go out to a 4th of July party, but um, it was fun. I went to Asbury Park, which is like, uh, I guess it's just a part of the Jersey Shore, but I really like Asbury Park. It's a cool place. And we went to a couple of different restaurants and bars and um, there's like a, foos a foosball table at one and ping pong 
table and it was really cool and had a really delicious chicken parm sandwich for dinner and just a fun night out. Um, I took a little bit of video, so I'm gonna throw that in here, but um, yeah, so it's 4th of July today. Right now it is around 2.40, so it's a little bit later in the day than I originally intended to get home, um, but it should be a fun 4th going to a friend's parents' house for their annual 4th of July party. And uh, hopefully we'll see some fireworks later. <laughs>